excellent in life. So now I would like to invite Astitva Kumar to enlighten us with today's virtue. Thank you, Adan. Virtue for today is gratitude. According to Melody Becky, gratitude makes sense of your past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. True relation is real living, living with all one's soul, with all one's goodness and kindness. Relation talks about having faith in God, and we all share. So now I would like to invite our Tripathi to give us the knowledge of our God. It seems that Aryan Tripathi is having connectivity issue, so let me continue. Good afternoon and Jai Devat. According to Jeremiah, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. Poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and thought has found words. So now I would like to invite Tanish Mishra to recite a poem for us. Good afternoon and Jezebel. I would like to express my views to my poem. The title of my poem is Hope. Some say he is round and the spikiest of them all. I also hear he is the deadliest of them all. He is here, he is there, traveling time to time in air. Young, old or small, really he doesn't care at all. He has made the roads clear and for now, he is our greatest fear. The birds are free, chirping on the wonderful tree. The whales are swimming. The deers are galloping, wondering where the humans are who tried to destroy us all. But I do believe our faith in God, who is the mightiest of all. He will help us to conquer this fear once and for all. I hope a wonderful better tomorrow is near for us all. Thank you. The word coronavirus or COVID-19, as we know it, is enough to trigger all wrong thoughts of our system. It develops a feeling of anxiety and fear in us. Following the outbreak of the deadly virus, many countries had adopted lockdown procedures that stopped people from moving out and for shops and other establishments to close down. Modern life has largely been put on pause, with millions of us cooped indoors, while governments try to curtail the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. But outside the natural world has continued to rumble on and has even shown signs of benefiting from our absence. Today, we will look at some notable impacts of coronavirus lockdown. The cleaner air has perhaps been the single greatest positive impact of the lockdown on the environment. I would like Aaron Singh to elaborate. Thank you. Thank you, Bharat. Citizens in northern India are seeing the view of Himalayan mountain range for the first time in their lives. Those living in Jalandhar in northern Punjab have shared the pictures of mountains which was hidden by pollution for 30 years. I would like Faiza to add on. Thank you, Aryan. Visuals of cleaner rivers are emerged from Kanpur as well as Maranasi. The clear water is the result of the industrial shutdown and absence of crowds. In a rare sighting, fishes can be seen near the Varanasi Ghats. I would like to take us from to extend our views. इस लॉकडाउन ने अचानक स्थिति बहुत तेजी से बदल दी हुआ क्या कि सब कुछ संपूर्ण बंदी का आदेश हुआ सारी इंडस्ट्री बंद हो गई तो अगर आप देखें कि जितना अवजल गंगा में या अवजल और मंजल का योग गंगा में जाता है वो उसका वन थर्ड सॉरी वन टेंथ जो होता है दसवां हिस्सा इंडस्ट्री से आता है It 
seems Ritika Sharma has some connectivity issue, so please allow me to continue. Wildlife has also taken the opportunity presented by our widespread absence from Sundarban streets and city centers to venture out and explore. An elephant was seen inspecting the lockdown in Kerala. Ganges River dolphin, a national aquatic animal which once lived in Ganga Brahmaputra Meghna River, is now endangered. But due to this lockdown, it has made its return in the Ganges in Meerut. Let us enjoy this small video clip. good points discussed and it's good to see that nature is regenerated quickly without human interference is there anything that this lockdown has taught us yes adan when we were all forced inside our houses due to this pandemic enjoying our television screens and caring about our situations there were real heroes who have been fighting out there the saddest smiles on their faces priti Please add to this. Thank you, Mayank. After witnessing these selfless services, everybody would agree that our heroes are not those who jump off the floors on our screens or have superpowers, but the ones who, without any powers, are out there helping us during this outbreak. Tanish, would you like to add? Yes. Thank you, Shruti. All the doctors, nurses, policemen, sanitation workers. and all other people who are helping during this time deserve a special applause i would like to add a quote here my heroes don't wear kids they wear masks white coats and khaki dresses my heroes don't fight monsters they fight pandemics over to kushal thank you tanish uh, actors are just entertainers and not real heroes I would like to share a few lines by Prime Minister Modi. I quote, "Mitro, from many different places, being together, being one, fighting against corona, nurses, doctors, lab technicians, and paramedical staff. We appreciate them with a special program. This was done by the whole country. It was a state of great respect and honor for the COVID heroes who are in some people at this time." That except this small program for our COVID heroes, there was a hidden document. There was a hidden document. On these types of social health, we can very well understand that the society shows and feels great respect for our COVID heroes. Doctor saves our life, but we can never pay them for this favor. I unquote. नन्ही सी हसी भोली सी खुशी फूलों सी वो बाहे भूल गए जब देश ने दी आवाज हमें हम घर की राहें भूल गए हम सोए नहीं कई रातों से जाने वतन सो जाने बुझे हमें नींद उसी दिन आएगी जब देखेंगे आबाद तुझे
तेरी मिट्टी में मिल जावा गुल बन के मैं खिल जावा इतनी सी है दिल की यार तेरी नदियों में बह जावा तेरे खेतों में लहरावा इतनी सी है दिल की यार Thank you, friends, for making me realize the difference between real heroes and real heroes. I wonder if there can be some positive impact from this lockdown. Yes, my friend Ayushi. How can you forget about our rich Indian culture that has always shown the world a better way of doing things, an age-old custom of Namaste. Research has shown that bacteria transfers quickly with handshake, high five, or fist bump greetings. It is only Namaste that guarantees zero bacteria transfer. Vardhan, please add on this. Thank you, Suti. Indian tradition has also taught us washing our hands before everything we do, and this indeed is being practiced by all of us around the world during this pandemic. We have been washing our hands for 20 seconds from time to time. Janvi, please extend this. Thank you, Vardhan. Indian values like keeping our footwear outside our houses is again an aged old practice that each one of us is following now to keep the viruses outside our houses. All these points really teach us that we should embrace our Indian culture and should be proud of it. Over to Sinjini. Thank you, Janvi. To sum this up, I would like to quote a few lines by Reshmi R. Dasgupta, a journalist of the Times of India. I quote: At a recent official event, I had the occasion to meet people who were friends or only acquaintances, all Indians. Most of us greeted each other with folded hands, but accompanied by embarrassed smiles and over hearty articulations of Namaste. It was understood that we were regressing to this age-old Indian form of greeting because of the exigencies created by the spread of COVID-19, and it is true. It's taken a pandemic for us to return to something that has been a part of our heritage for millennia. How many of us do or say Namaste anymore? More importantly, why did we dispense with it? While Namaste is still said in some circles, especially when not speaking in English, it is hardly done. For many Indians, though, the gesture has now become something to be done at Indian festivals to go with the seasonal ensemble of ethnic Indian clothes that too to mostly greet elders. And ironically, it seems that a certain class of Indians has now regained respect for Namaste. Thanks to it being adopted by a slew of foreign leaders, from Prince Charles and Donald Trump to Emmanuel Macron, Benjamin Netanyahu, among others. Interestingly, the Indian origin heads of giant brands like Google, Microsoft, 
adopt, etc. I've yet to join this international movement for Namaste. A meme currently doing the rounds features when stars greeting a bunch of British celebrities with Namaste, evoking the same response from them. The tagline has the words to the effect that COVID-19 has done what India could make the British do in 200 years. The same can be said for many Indians. Even if prompted by COVID-19, it's time we unabashedly welcome Namaste back into our lives. I am good. Namaste. Dear friends, I am proud to be an Indian. I am now 100% sure that my friends have nothing else to discuss. No, Idan, you are wrong. We have some points to tell you all. During this lockdown, we all have not been able to go out and enjoy it. foods like pizza, burger, etc. Necessity is the mother of invention. So almost every household has tried to learn cooking new dishes and cuisines. Parth, please add to this. It seems like Path has some connectivity issues, so please allow me to continue. Not only we are stuck at home, but most restaurants and delivery services have stopped. Many of us have also become cautious about eating outside food because we don't want to catch Corona. As a result, more of us are eating home-cooked food. Home cooking usually has less oil, fresh ingredients, and little to no processed food, making it a healthier option than eating out. Thank you, Sanjini. It gives us an opportunity to build up our natural immunity by eating healthy at home. Although some restaurants and eateries are still delivering food, relying on home complete home cooked food is the safest option. Food rich in vitamin C and antioxidants along with some regular exercise are the best way to build your immunity. Are you see? Please share some such with us. Sure, Aris. As we know that coronavirus is associated with symptoms of cough and cold, including severe respiratory infection. It is besides this too such as oranges, lemons, and berries, help its immunity against such infections. Amla or the Indian gooseberry is another fruit which boosts immunity and improves metabolism. Nutritionists recommend them having three to four times a day for best results. Thank you for sharing this valuable tips and thoughts. We have surely learned to survive without the consumption of junk food. I wonder, they are left with any other points to discuss? Yes, Ayushi. There are many more points to be discussed, but we will restrict ourselves to the last one. My friends have discussed some really good points, but I think that this lockdown has made our life more hygienic. Now, I would request Sathak to elaborate. Thank you, Shresh. The recent stay-at-home mandate has changed our lives in more ways than one would ever imagine. It had made us think very differently about our health, wealth, fitness, nutrition, exercise, and relationships. Now I request R and Singh to add some points. 
Thank you, Sartak. The mind and body have an intricate link with each other, and hence it is imperative to keep both of them healthy. Planning and building our overall well-being in this phase is going to be an investment for our future, and it will just—it will not just pay dividends in terms of our health, but also help us realize our capabilities. Arpit, would you like to say something? Yes, Aryan. Thank you. The focus is now going to completely shift on cleanliness, hygiene, and sanitization. To say that ethical hygiene is now going to be the new trend will not be an exaggeration. Sanitizers, along with overall hygiene, will be the new priority. This will become a part of personal and social hygiene, acting as another merit. Over to Arupiti. Now, to sum this up, I would like to quote the speech of WHO's doctor Maria Van Kerkhove. where she addresses the public through a live broadcast on 17 March 2020 about the covid-19 pandemic the interviewer asked her what preventive measures one should take during this crisis she was saying and i call up the viewers know that there are several things that you can do to protect yourself from getting infected the first is hand wash and there are several steps Hand wash, making sure that you use good soap and water, and that you get all of the different surfaces in your hands and thumbs and both sides. The second thing is respiratory etiquette, like if you sneeze or cough into a tissue, and to make sure that you dispose of that tissue into a closed bin. The third thing that you can do is be informed. From sites, we can get accurate information about this pandemic. The fact that you may be young and healthy, if you prevent yourself from getting infected. You may be infecting a vulnerable person, and that's what really, really is the key. So every person has a role to play in this pandemic. I unquote. Thank you. Thank you, friends. I agree that living a hygienic life is not difficult at all. Is there anything else, Ayushi? Yes, it's hard. The lockdown has brought a paradigm shift from offline to online. And the highlight of this online teaching is flip teaching and a homemade science experiment. Let's enjoy the glimpse of it. Over to you, Sanjini and Ravanisha. Thank you, Ayushi. In today's class, we learn about the exponents and powers. So what is an exponent? An exponent refers to the number of times a number is multiplied by itself. For example, two raised to the exponent four, two into two into two into two, which equals to sixteen. Two raised to the exponent two equals to two into two, which equals to four. Let us now find two raised to the exponent minus n is equal to what? Two raised to the exponent minus one equals to one divided by two equals to one upon two. Vocabulary: Two raised to the exponent three. Okay, three is the exponent and two is the base. The base and the exponent are together called the power. Sort the following powers into their bases and exponents. Eight raised to the exponent three. Here, eight is the base and three is the exponent. Five raised to the exponent four. Here, five is the base and four is the exponent. A raised to the exponent n. Here, a is the base and n is the exponent. Thank you. Over to you, Revelisha. Thank you, Sanjini. Gentlemen, I am Revelisha Paras, and I am here to perform a wonderful homemade science experiment before you. So let's get started. The materials we require are water, an empty bottle, and a sharp object to make holes near the base of the bottle, and a bowl so that we don't end up getting all wet. Now, first we need to make holes near the base, but in order to save time, I have already done it. You can see the holes. 
Now we need to add some water into this bottle. But in order to assure the visibility, I will add a few drops of colors first. As you can see, I have added a few drops of color into this bottle. Now, I'm going to add water into this bottle, but to prevent the leakage, I will cover the holes with my hand. Now, I will close the lid tight. Now here comes the interesting part. What makes this experiment wonderful? I'm now going to remove it. As you can see, the water is not flowing through the holes I have made. Let's see the second part of this experiment. I'm now opening the lid. As you can see, the water has started to flow out through the holes I have made. Now, is it magic or science? Well, each magic trick till day has science behind it. So, when I open the lid, the air pressure in the air pressure in the atmosphere increases the air pressure into the bottle, which pushes the water out through the holes I have made. As soon as I close the lid, the air pressure inside reduces as compared to the air pressure in the atmosphere which prevents the water from leaking out. This also tells us that Pascal's law holds true for water. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Thank you. That looks super interesting. I would now like you to enjoy this amazing group song sung by my friends.
start was a melodious song. Now, uh, let us all enjoy the last video. Hey. मुझे विश्वास है हर हिंदुस्तानी इस संकट का न सिर्फ सफलता से मुकाबला करेगा बल्कि इस मुश्किल घड़ी से विजयी होकर निकलेगा I think I missed a point or two. Is it my turn? Yes, ma'am. It is your turn. I I thought so. I thought so. Yes, ma'am. I was busy watching the children, watching the program, and at the same time attending to other things that are yes, going on in the office. And am I seen? No. Yes, ma'am. We can see you. Ma'am, we can see you. Fine, fine, fine. Jai Jagat and a very good afternoon, everyone. It was pleasure watching this beautiful class presentation. 
I especially liked a few. The, the prayer was good. The songs that were sung were good. The way virtually you are able to organize class presentations, virtually you are able to organize such beautiful programs that is really commendable. The kind of practices that have gone into it, the kind of hard work that has gone in, that is really commendable. And so far as the students are concerned, I would say that the students are blooming in this Corona period. I'm not talking about children. I'm talking about the students. They are learning. They are learning to work. They are learning to teach. They are learning to work independently. They are learning technology. They are definitely learning their own subjects, of course, that they are doing. So everything is going on. And the kind of development, the kind of growth, the kind of progress that I'm able to see in the children, that is really something that I had not expected. Very positive changes have come among the students in this time. The only thing that I have to say now is it should continue. There will very soon, I hope, very soon the good days will be back. And what are the good days? The good days are when you and I are together, when all of us are together in school. Those are the good days. So we are waiting for the good days and the good days are not very far behind now. Very soon we will be meeting in school every day. And when those good days come, even at that time, this hybrid pattern must continue. Hybrid pattern would be coming to school, studying in school, talking to your teachers, working from home, submitting your work online, submit, doing your work online, teaching each other online, all this hybrid pattern must continue. Next, I want to talk a little about the teachers. The teachers in this time, you've talked about the Corona warriors, right? You talked about the superheroes. The superheroes who don't, who don't khadi, uh, khaki. I would say those are the people who saved people from the disease that is spread around everywhere. What about people like us who are inside, who could not go out? Teachers are the ones who are the saviors of Corona. They are not the superheroes. Superhero would be too light, too small a word for them. They are the saviors. Jesus Christ is said to be the savior of mankind. And teachers, I would like to put teachers in the same category. And the reason behind it is that teachers are the ones who have supported the parents and children and prevented them from going insane. Otherwise, there would have been insanity. When you do not have a purpose to do something, a reason to get up and do something, you do not get up from bed. When you do not have a purpose of some work to do throughout the day, you do not do anything. Think of some people who have no purpose in life. They will not get up on time. That is, they will not have any routine. They will not do any kind of hard work. There will be no rigor in their lives. And when there is no rigor, when there is no routine, there is no goal in life. But children have goal in life. To achieve that goal, the teachers have kept them sane, sensible. And this kind of functions, the kind of class presentations that are being organized, they are wonderful. The kind of cooperation you have given to your teacher, the, the kind of cooperation you have given to each other, 
the way you have worked for each other the way you have found out about your country why you are proud of your country and how your culture your customs your systems are be, uh, being followed by people everywhere in the world the way you have spoken the way you have searched for the matter the way you have selected the theme the way you have selected the material for the theme that the teacher had finalized for you all that is excellent really praiseworthy praiseworthy is your effort praiseworthy is your teacher's guidance praiseworthy is the support that is given by your in charge ma'am the vice principal ma'am praiseworthy is the support that is given by your parents because everybody has been working for it and i could see the excitement on your faces that everybody is watching me and i have prepared so that was so good in this monotonous life we need some kind of excitement also so this model class presentation gave you this opportunity to feel a little bit excited about something that you are doing in your life and do something constructively so it was a very good class presentation for those to your class teacher congratulations to all of you very well done thank you thank you so much ma'am for your encouraging words now i would request my class teacher to give vote of thanks thank you ida it's an honor for me to propose the vote of thanks on this auspicious day with the blessings of almighty we are fortunate to prepare and present this virtual model class this day i take this opportunity to offer my sincere thanks to all eminent guests who have graced the occasion with their presence i would also like to mention my special thanks to our respected principal ma'am who has always been a great source of inspiration and motivation in every endeavor we make i would also like to mention my wholehearted thanks to vice principal ma'am for providing her continuous support and guidance her care and concerns are substantial i would like i would also like to thank it assistants of our campus for providing continuous support in e learning program then i would also mention my heartfelt thanks to all the parents of all the students for being so cooperative and making all online resources available for students to connect with us regularly last but not the least i would like to thank all my dear students yes you all for being so hard working and enthusiastic for making this event a great success now i take the opportunity to request and invite vice principal ma'am mrs singh to please continue thank you manchi thank you manchi you have already thanked everybody thank you ma'am uh, thank you manchi uh, i would like to thank our principal ma'am who is the guiding force you can say she is a big inspiration because she believes in perfection and so we can see that so we can see that in all our events so i would like to thank principal ma'am for motivating us from time to time and to be there with us throughout thank you ma'am and i want to uh, i think uh, you forgotten to thank the music teacher mrs alpana marotra and mr trivedi who teaches such lovely songs to students and i would like to thank mansi ma'am and her team yes because model class is all about class teacher and students so the way they the way the class teacher she works with the students that is very nice to see the way the children are cooperating with the teacher the way the teacher is taking work the day and in the evenings the rehearsals used to be there in fact let me tell you uh, this mod class started somewhere in may june so that time and then we gave a halt to it and then we continued again so we could see and the way children are attached to the class teacher that class teacher working students giving their uh, their inputs that is very good 
And one thing which I liked in this particular model class was something unique. And I would like the teachers who will be having the model class, I will give them this suggestion also that uh, children were ready with the parts of others also. So whenever some kind of net issues were there, children, other children were taking over. That was very good far sightedness. Very good. Congratulations, Mansi. Uh, keep rising. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you children. Thank you, it was lovely enjoying your modulus. Thank you, ma'am. I think children now may we may start moving. Thank you for all your efforts. We have made it a success. Thank you once again, my dear students. I think we can leave now. Thank you, ma'am. Jai Jagat, ma'am. Jai Jagat, ma'am. Jai Jagat, ma'am. Jai Jagat, ma'am.